Good afternoon, this is Schweitzer, and uh, this is one of our first videos on a little series of videos called School of Acid Base. And our first topic is what makes something acidic? And there are lots of things that are considered acids. As you go through your life, um, you can remember movies or all sorts of things that you consider to be acidic. Foods have acids in them. Um, sometimes we use acids to preserve foods. In the end, everything that is acidic is going to produce one item. That item is H3O+. Um, very nasty substance. Um, extremely uh, unstable substance. It takes a very little bit of it to actually make something uh, acidic. So, in this case, um, originally they thought the item was H plus ions, but in reality it is H3 plus ion, and this is called the hydronium ion. The hydronium ion is Lewis structure wise oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Now, this is water. Um, water has two empty pair of electrons, and I have it drawn straight here, but it really it's bent. And a reaction will come along and will take another H and pop another one on there, but it's only going to dominate an H plus. So it's going to use these two electrons right here to essentially form a bond with another H. This is unusual for water. Water normally, but like with this situation, water, it would only bond twice. For water to bond three times um, isn't making it really happy. It does not like this. Very, a little bit unstable. Um, so, this is the hydronium ion. Next, we have how do I um, what makes something basic? Let's go to the next idea here. Okay, So, we know that the H3O plus ions are what makes something acidic. But what makes something basic? Well, just like there are things that are acids, there is a specific chemical that causes things to be basic. Um, if you were to eat something and th this thing tasted bitter, then you would be eating this chemical, which would be a base. Acids inherently have a taste that we call sour. Our tongue has, well, arguably four different tastes, and this is two of them. One inherently tastes acidic things, and one inherently tastes basic things. The chemical that all bases in the end would produce we called hydroxide ions, OH negative. In this case, Lewis structure, oxygen, hydrogen, and one, two, three, four, five, six, with an overall negative charge. So again, it looks awfully similar to that of a water molecule. So a water molecule, H2O, has a unique ability to do two things. It can gain an H plus to, to proceed to a chemical called hydronium. Okay. Or it can lose an H plus to form a chemical called hydroxide. <laughs> um, the hydroxide ion inherently is a little bit more stable. You can actually have this stuff on your shelf um, in a store bottle and it's fine. But the hydronium ion um, is a little bit more a little more unstable, I would I would say, in my opinion. Um, okay, so in this situation, 
we now know that the hydroxide ions make something basic, the H plus ions make something acidic. So, in some sense, okay, is a solution going to be an acid or is it going to be a base? Or is it going to be neutral? In this situation, it's just a matter of the concentration of the H plus ions versus the concentration of the hydroxide ions. I don't know work here. Okay, so my pen's not working. Uh, in this case, we'll wrap this up quickly here then. Uh, the H plus ions have to be greater than the hydroxide ions, and we would be acidic. And if the hydroxide ions are greater than the H plus ions or the hydronium ions, then we would be um, uh, acidic. There we go. So looks like it's working now. Maybe not. Uh, and if they're equal, then uh, we'd be neutral. All right. And that's basically it. The, your balance between acids, H plus ions, your bases, which are going to be your hydroxides, and it's just a teeter totter. Whichever one's higher wins out. If they're equal, then we're neutral. All right, thank you very much.